you are about to experience one of the most unique courses of instruction for medical terminology ever developed. This learning system, developed by Dean Vaughn, is designed for 100% retention. That's right. This instructional system uses proven memory techniques that will show you how to remember all of the information taught in the course. Please do not take any notes during the presentation of the lessons. After each presentation, it is very important that you complete the exercises in your learning guide. Your learning guide will be your most important tool during this course, and it will be very valuable to you after the course for review and reference. By completing all of the exercises in your learning guide, you will be able to complete the final test with ease and self-confidence. The purpose of this course is to give you a basic understanding of the structural design of medical terminology and to enable you to learn and remember thousands of medical terms. This course will enable you to achieve in a very short time what would normally require far more time, extensive study and continuous repetition. You will soon see how this learning system takes the drudgery out of the study of medical terminology and how it takes the mystery out of it too. For any learning method or technique to be dramatically better than the usual, it would have to be dramatically different than the usual. Above all, this course is different, but then so are the results. Before we begin, it will be necessary for you to learn the meaning of audionym, a basic part of the Dean Vaughan learning system. Audio means sound. Nim means name. An audionym is a sound name. More specifically, an audionym is a simple sound-alike for a word or words we want to remember. An audionym for Pennsylvania could be pencil. The audionym must sound like or at least suggest something tangible, something we can see. Since nearly all of us can remember infinitely more of what we see than of what we hear or read, we will change what we want to remember into audionyms, sound-alikes we can see. Let us consider a few more examples. An audionym for March, the month of March, could be March. We could think of and see a band marching. An audionym for hydrogen could be hydrant. An audionym for carbon could be car. An audionym for tenacious could be tennis shoes. Tenacious, tennis shoes. An audionym is really just a sound alike that we can picture in our mind's eye. Let's take a look at the structural design of medical terminology. Medical terms are made up of a combination of basic word parts called elements. These elements are prefixes, roots, and suffixes. A prefix is an element used at the beginning of a medical term which changes, in some manner, the meaning of the medical term or makes it more specific. A root is the main element within a medical term. Often there is more than one root element within the term. The root element is always the main topic of the medical term and is frequently a body part. A suffix is an element at the end of a medical term, which frequently describes a condition of a body part or an action to a body part. We may see combinations of elements with a vowel, such as the letter O or I between them. This is called a combining vowel and is used only to make the term easier to pronounce. Sometimes the letter Y is used at the end of a medical term to make the term a noun. After learning the elements taught in this lesson, you will see examples of how they can be combined to form medical terms. Let's begin our learning, understanding, and retention of medical terminology. Here is how the system works. Let's consider the element gaster. The first step in the learning process is to create an audionym for gaster. We simply ask ourselves, what does gaster sound like? What does it suggest to us? Gaster. Gaster. Gas truck. Gaster sounds like gas truck, doesn't it? Gaster. Gas truck. 
In the upper left corner of the screen, you will see the element. In the upper right corner, you will see the audionym, the word or words the element sounds like or suggests. Here, for example, gaster is the element. Gas truck is the audionym. And in the center, you see the picture of the audionym, the gas truck. I will ask you to pronounce the elements and say the audionyms out loud along with me. Later, we will add the meanings and say them out loud. This is a very important part of the learning process and must be done to assure your success in the course. Gaster, gas truck. Say this out loud with me. Gaster, gas, gas, gas truck. truck. The next element is Cardi. An audionym for Cardi could be cards. Cardi sounds like cards. Cardi, cards. Every time you think of the element Cardi, picture this image of cards, a game of cards. Cardi, cards. Say it with me. Cardi, Cardi cards. cards. Next, the element Miguel. Miguel sounds a little like my gal, doesn't it? And here we see an image of my gal. Miguel, my gal. Say it one time. Miguel, my gal. Again, all of us remember much more of what we see than of what we hear or read. That's why, as the first step in the system, we change the name of the element into an audionym, a sound alike we can see. For example, we said that gaster sounds like gas truck. You can see a gas truck. Cardi sounds like cards. You can see cards. And Miguel sounds like my gal. You can see my gal. All of the audionyms in this course have been created for you. Each audionym has been very carefully selected from the most common words and phrases of the English language and should present no difficulty even for those with a limited English vocabulary. The next element is itis. Itis sounds a little bit like I test. Since eye test does not immediately suggest a visual image, we'll create a visual image for it. Here we see a teacher holding test papers saying, I test, as she prepares to test her students. Itis, I test. Say it together. Itis, Itis I, I test. test. Next, the element dermat. Dermat sounds like doormat, so we'll use doormat as the audionym. Here we see a salesperson standing on the doormat. Dermat, doormat. One time with me. Dermat, dermat doormat. doormat. We will now review each element and its audionym with a visual image on the screen. Say each element and audionym one time with me. Gaster, gas truck, Cardi, cards, me gal, my gal, itis, I test, dermat, Doormat. Once again, this time, without the visual image on the screen, we'll say the element and the audionym. Gaster. Gas truck. Cardi. Cards. Me gal. My gal. Itis. I test. Dermat. Dermat. 
Now that you understand how each element is changed into an audionym, you are ready for the next step in the learning system, that is, to learn the meaning of the elements. We said that gaster sounds like gas truck. In medical terminology, gaster means stomach. Now, even though you know that gaster sounds like gas truck, how will you remember that gaster means stomach? Well, take one last look at the gas truck, because we are going to change it. We will change it in such an illogical way that if you were ever to see it in real life, you would surely never forget it. The gas truck has a real stomach for a tank. Can you imagine that? A gas truck with a real stomach for a tank? This image may appear to you as being illogical, elementary, or even humorous. That's okay, because this learning system works by using illogical associations. In fact, the more illogical the association, the easier it will be to remember. So you can be sure we'll make the associations as illogical as possible. Gaster sounds like gas truck. You see a gas truck with a real stomach for a tank. Gaster. Gas truck. Stomach. Now, every time you see or hear the medical element gaster, just think of the sound-alike, the audionym, gas truck. Remember this gas truck with a real stomach for a tank, and you will always remember that gaster, gas truck, means stomach. The meaning of the element will always appear at the bottom center of the screen. Gaster gas truck stomach say it with me two times gaster gas truck stomach gaster gas truck stomach next we said that cardi sounds like cards cardi means heart so as we look at the cards, all of a sudden, they are real, live hearts. You can see the blood dripping and hear the hearts pumping as they play cards with real, live hearts. How could you ever forget this? Cardi, cards, heart. Say it twice with me. Cardi, Cardi cards, cards Heart. Cardi. Cards. Heart. Next, Miguel. Do you remember the audionym for Miguel? My gal. Miguel means enlarged. So, as you look at this image of my gal, see the most enlarged gal in the world. Very very enlarged. Miguel, my gal, enlarged. Two times together. Miguel, my gal, enlarged. Miguel, my gal, enlarged. Next, itis. We said that itis sounds a little like eye test. Itis means inflammation. And since inflammation is a condition and is not a specific object, this association will require an additional step. We'll change the meaning inflammation into an audionym, a sound alike we can see. How about in flames? See the teacher say, I test in flames. Can you imagine a teacher testing in flames? In flames will remind you of inflammation. Again, this additional step of creating an audionym for the meaning will be necessary when the meaning is not an object you can see. When this additional step is needed, it will appear at the right center of the screen. Itis I test, in flames, inflammation. Say it two times with me. 
I test, I test, in flames, inflammation. I test, I test, in flames, inflammation. We said that dermat sounds like doormat. Dermat means skin. So as you look at the doormat, see it made of skin, real skin. Dermat, doormat, skin. Say it with me twice. Dermat, doormat, skin. Dermat, doormat, skin. Now let's review the five elements you have just learned. We'll say the element, the audionym, and the meaning each one time. Remember to use the additional step if it is necessary. Gaster, gastruck, stomach, cardi, Cards, heart, me gal, my gal, enlarged, itis, I test, in flames, inflammation, dermat, doormat, Skin. Now, once more, without the visual images on the screen. Again, remember the additional step if it is needed. Gaster. Gastruck. Stomach. Cardi. Cards. Heart. Migal. My gal, enlarged, itis, I test, in flames, inflammation, dermat, doormat, skin.